Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video this week. I know that a lot of you, my usual viewers, you're like, yo, this is a way different video, and it is. For new viewers, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Jackson Levsack. I'm a filmmaker and photographer, and beyond that, surfer, kiter, uh, skier, kind of an action sports enthusiast, and usually I make weekly vlogs and episodes about my travels and lifestyle. But this week, I wanted to do something different and talk about my favorite places that I've ever been and where I think you should go in 2022. Thought it'd be kind of fun. Mia here in the background. She'll be the cheerleader of the episode as well. This is a travel guide based off of surfing and skiing and also just beautiful destinations that anybody can enjoy. Diving right into it, we're gonna start with Puerto Rico. I had no idea what to expect, but I showed up on the island and just was ready to explore it. I rented a car for two weeks and I wanted to go around the island. The goal was to circumnavigate it for two weeks, stopping in all different corners of the island. If you haven't been there, it's all time cool. It's like the States mixed with Hawaii, which is, don't get me wrong, I know that's, I know that's the States, but mix Hawaii with like Mexico and it's, it's just makes the perfect baby of Puerto Rico. I love it. Number four, Nepal. Most likely you're gonna fly into the city of Kathmandu and it is insane, like no place I can guarantee that you've ever been. Absolutely hectic, people everywhere, a lot of boop, 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 boop. They're like, holy God, what is going on? It's kind of chaotic, it's a little bit stressful, a little hard to breathe and then boom, you get out to the beautiful nature, escape the city and you're in one of the most haven-esque places you could ever imagine. Nepal was nothing sort of a fairy tale. I mean, you're looking at these mountains that jet up so high into the sky, you're just looking straight at them. You got monkeys, pandas, elephants, tigers, bear, any freaking animal you could ever imagine roams the land here. It just feels like you're in an enchanted fairy tale. And I did a hike that was called, um, what was the hike called? I forget the name of the hike, but there's a million of them and all the mountains are equally as beautiful and I know that I was close to the Tibetan border. Point is, no matter where you go in Nepal, you can't have a bad time, especially if you get out there and you're a hiking enthusiast. Now, your legs are gonna be pissed because you gotta pretty much walk straight up a freaking wall of a mountain and it's the equivalent to doing like 30 million steps, but I promise you it's worth it. The views along the way are insane. People are amazing. The culture's like nothing you've ever seen. It's just, it an experience at its finest. Taking number three place on my list, Nicaragua. For those of you that are my fellow uh, continuous subscribers, friends, followers, whatever, what have you, you know that I recently went to Nicaragua and I made a bunch of vlogs about it. Like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I promise you won't regret it. We have fun on this channel, don't we? She confirmed. And in the Nicaraguan videos, we surfed our hearts out and we went over August until September, the overlap there. Now I would recommend if you're a more experienced and advanced surfer to go in June, July, some other spots. My mom's creeping into the door. What you gotta say about it? Uh, word of advice. Next uh, unboxing boxes with Jackson, be careful with that knife. Did you watch it? Yeah, you went <laughs> Oh boy. Where was I? Waves every day, it's offshore every day, you're getting barreled, you're freaking, it's just the place you go to have a great time and specifically speaking we went to Hacienda Iguana, beautiful destination, uh, such an amazing place, lush jungle, monkeys in our backyard, beautiful villas for an affordable price, you're in this gated community and you walk out your front door to firing waves every single day. It is the dream surf trip, I can't stress that enough. On top on top of that, you've got this place called Ometepe, which is this island in the middle of Nicaragua, in the middle of a lake, and it's like the most insane place ever. It's a volcano that's, it's a volcano island is what it is, and it's insane, and it's like nothing we've ever seen. Mia was with me on the trip. I know she had an amazing time, and we rented motorbikes and went around the whole island, and you're looking at this volcano that looks Holy like nothing shit. you've ever seen. You can feed monkeys out of your hand. I 
got a lot of negative comments about that, so don't get mad at me. I didn't know. I'm a dumb Howley, okay? That's what her people call me, at least. <laughs> now, so much beyond the surfing, there's a lot more to do if you're interested in, in things beyond surfing. The hiking, just the beauty of the place, it's relaxing, it's cheap, it's affordable. Uh, I can't wait to the day I go back, and it's also very similar to other countries I've been in in uh, Central America, such as Costa Rica. Very similar places, um, but hey, every country's got its own unique aspect, and Nicaragua is making my top five list because of how good of a time we had. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Why'd you love it? I love their ice cream. All Bubu did go, oh, go. She like, oh, I gotta go store every day. She like, oh, let me take your wallet. Oh. No. Let me take I your did. credit card. Let me go buy the treats really quick. <laughs> I bought this. Number two. Drop a comment right now. Guess where my number two is. First time I went to Japan was down in a little more southern region known as Hakaba, and it was insane. I scored one day of proper to Japan. By the way, I'm a big, big fan of skiing. If you're a fan of skiing, Japan's the destination for you. It's some of the best snow on earth. I'm sure you heard about it if you're a skier. Hakaba did not disappoint. Actually, it only provided one day. The rest of the days it kind of disappointed, but global warming, I believe in it, and I could see how it was coming in strong. That being said, Hakaba was sick. I mean, ramen everywhere you go. Best food on earth if you ask me. Uh, beyond that, you're skiing all day with your boys. You're coming in, you're eating a ramen bowl, and you're doing it all over again every single day. That's my reason to go to Japan is to ski, ski, ski. But beyond the skiing, you also have Tokyo. It is mandatory that if you do decide to go to Japan, you have to spend at least, I would say, two days in Tokyo to really get a feel for the place. It is the trippiest, weirdest, craziest city you've ever been in your life. My second and most recent time going to Japan was in Naseko. And I think for the skiing, I actually liked it more. Namely because we were at the resort of, uh, da 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 da. Naseko is the resort, isn't it? The location that Naseko's resort is at is just mind-blowing. You got Mount Yote, and it is insane. It's like a backdrop out of a movie. I'm sure you've seen it in shots. On a bluebird day, it is mind-blowing. This huge, classic volcano is just jetting out of nowhere, and you are in winter wonderland living any skier or snowboarder's dream. Highly recommend Japan, can't wait to go back. And my number one destination that I can almost guarantee you've never been to, maybe even never heard of, is Saint Anton, Austria. When I did my tour with Ski.com, I was lucky enough to go to four different countries in Europe. France, Italy, Austria, and Switzerland. And my favorite one out of all of those was Austria because it seemed like no one here in the States ever talks about it or knows about it. It was like all the other countries, but way more low key and almost more impressive mountains. I specifically had a soft spot for San Anton because one, I scored one of the best storms they've ever had in their life there, so the skiing was just unmatched, some of the best snow I've still ever scored in my life today. And two, it was the start, it was the town that started skiing. It felt like I was in this old uh, chapter of history that you know, had these roots that were so deep-seated into the sport and everyone was so passionate and the opera scene after you were done skiing was just rowdy and fun and the resort sprawled for miles and miles. It was massive and I didn't even get to ski that much of it because it's so big and because of the avalanche danger and everything, but the place just blew me away. It had the coziest little town that you would ski right into. It was small, cute, cool, rad bars, uh, I mean, I could go off about it. I am a passionate lover of Austria and specifically San Anton and I cannot wait to the day I go back and I highly recommend you put it on your bucket list. This place is a do not miss and it's, at least when I was there, felt pretty freaking low key and like a hidden gem of uh, this beautiful planet that we call home. So that's it, my top five travel destinations on planet Earth based off of my experiences, based off of me being who I am, which is a 
person that not only loves travel for travel, but a person that loves to travel to go and do, travel to go and surf and to ski. These are places that have really, really rung with me and that uh, I'll remember for the rest of my life and I hope I get to visit more than once. Aside from my top five travel destination list, I want to hear your guys's. Where have you gone that has rung a cord with you that you think I need to check out, please drop it in the comments below. And there's one place that I visited that was not on this list, most recently visited, and I think you have to check it out too. It's a bucket list experience if you can pull it off, and I was lucky enough to have the insanest time ever. I'm gonna link it right here. Be sure to check it out. It's a film from a recent road trip through Baja. Thank you as always for watching my videos. Love you guys, subscribe if you're new here. And as always my friends, I will see you next Friday.